Baltimore's top prosecutor charged with charging criminals in the city. To do that, the office relies on hundreds of attorneys, except now it's a bare bones staff. They are down 88 prosecutors. Multiple sources telling Fox 45 News Mosby's office is barely keeping up with the workload. The homicide unit used to have 13 prosecutors and four supervisors. Now it's 11 prosecutors and two supervisors. Major investigations used to have eight prosecutors and one supervisor. Now there are two prosecutors in the division who share a supervisor with a narcotics unit that has five line prosecutors compared to the 14 previously. The Gun Violence Enforcement Division handling cases where felons are charged with gun offenses and non-fatal shootings, working with five attorneys and one supervisor compared to a previous 12 line prosecutors and four supervisors. Fox 45 News asking Mosby's office for a list of current prosecutors who are employed, but the office refusing to answer. Meanwhile, my hope is that all the agencies are going to take the city council's request seriously. Time is running out for Mosby's office to comply with the demand from city council budget committee chairman Eric Costello, sending this letter two weeks ago, also demanding answers on staffing, writing he understands that some units quote are currently understaffed for supervisors and assistant state's attorneys by more than 50 percent. The deadline is 11.59 p.m. On, on the day of. Jeremy Eldridge, a former prosecutor in the state's attorney's office. I've never seen the office in shambles like it is now. Says the prosecutors leaving for other jobs is a real problem for the city's justice system. There are prosecutors in felony who have been lawyers for less than a year. You can't expect a lawyer with less than one year of experience to prosecute any felonies in the state of Maryland efficiently or effectively. Every time someone leaves, you're simply shoveling anywhere between 20 and 200 cases onto the desk of somebody else. A survey done of the average salaries for prosecutors in all state's attorney's offices in Maryland puts Baltimore City in the bottom half. In 2021, averaging $78,500. The highest earning prosecutors in Anne Arundel County, followed by Baltimore and Harford counties. But another former prosecutor says that is not simply due to the base salaries. It has nothing to do with the fact that you've got, uh, you know, that they're paid less. They're on the same pay scale. Prosecutors in Baltimore City are leaving after 18 months. They're not sticking around to get the salaries that every other jurisdiction has. While Mosby's office is staying silent, the concerns are growing louder, and it appears as if more people are leaving the office tasked with bringing justice to victims of crime in Baltimore City.